Hi Grace Kids, it's Courtney from Chapel Grace. Today we're going to learn all about freedom. Now first we need everybody to bow your heads and close your eyes so we can open up in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you so much for the freedom that you've given us, Lord God. Thank you for the opportunity for us to be able to talk about your freedom and learn about your freedom, Lord God. I pray that we would look back on this message and that we can use it in our lives every day and remember what you have, so what you have spoken to us today, Lord God. I pray that you would move through this message and that your will would be done. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So, recently we had a holiday pass that was all about freedom. It's called Independence Day. Now this is about the Declaration of Independence and the United States getting to be free to be their own country. Here's what I need everybody to do. I want everybody to close your eyes and imagine with me. Imagine that you're holding a box. The box feels fine right now, but it slowly starts to get heavier. And the heavier it gets, you almost feel like you can't keep it up. It's just so heavy. And you're worried that you're gonna fall down or drop it. It's just so heavy, you're way down. And you don't know what to do. All right, open your eyes. We don't really have a box here. But that box is kind of like our sin. It can weigh us down, make us feel heavy. And today we're gonna talk about freedom from sin. Now I want everybody to ask this question and then pause the video to discuss. What does freedom mean to you? Go ahead and pause. All right, let's look at what the Bible says about freedom. In Romans 6, 18, it says, Now you are free from your slavery to sin, and you have become slaves to righteous living. Well, are we really slaves? Mm, we just talked about how America's free, so let's see. Well, Paul wrote this letter to Rome. That's why it's called Romans. And he says in this letter, in verse 19, Paul writes that when he uses the word slavery, he's using it as an illustration or an example to help us better understand. Kind of like how we talked about holding a heavy box and how that can be like sin. Now, a heavy box isn't really sin, but it kind of helps us understand how it might weigh us down and make us feel not so great. So Paul uses slavery as an example. It tells us that we're stuck and a slave to sin. And when we're a slave to sin, we choose wrong things. But there is a happy ending. In verse 22, he tells us, but now you are free from the power of sin and you've become slaves of God. Now you do things that lead to holiness and result in eternal life. Now, again, Paul's not saying that we're slaves to God literally or real. He's telling us that now God is in control of our lives. And if we let God be in control of our lives, then that will lead us to holiness and result in eternal life. Here's the thing, I'm human. I make mistakes, I'm sure you guys make mistakes too. So when we make mistakes, does that mean that we're a slave to sin again? Does that mean that we won't get the eternal life that we get when God is in control? Well, in verse 23, Paul tells us, for the wages of sin, the cost of sin is death. But the free gift of God, no cost. The free gift of God is eternal life. So it tells us that we get this free gift of God of eternal life, but here's the important part. He, continue, he continues and tells us that this free gift of God of eternal life is through Christ Jesus. Now it's important that we remember that this is through Christ Jesus, that he's saved us and we're free from our own sin. And no matter what, no matter how many times we fail, God is still in control. We've still, we've still chosen God. And it doesn't matter if we fail sometimes when we choose sin because our sins have been forgiven by Jesus Christ. Earlier, I asked you the question of what freedom was to you. Now, I want you to answer the question of what, it's, what it means to be free from sin. Go ahead and pause the video to discuss. All right, Grace Kids, thank you so much for joining me this week. I can't wait to see you next week so we can talk some more.